And we are joined now by LA Galaxy head coach Greg Vanny. Uh, we will now start off with uh, Josh Gessman. Go ahead, Josh. Hey, Greg. Thanks for, for talking to us. Um, it, it looked like a pretty even game out there. Um, it, it looks like you guys maybe had some chances to score. They had some chances to score. What were your overall thoughts on the, on the match? Yeah, I think uh, I think that's fair in terms of terms of quality chances. I thought uh, was was fair. We had a couple really good looks at times, especially in the first half that um, we let go. It's a it's a difficult place to play. You, you know, you want to take your chances when you can take them, and it's uh, unseasonably hot here right now. It's really warm, especially in the first half. Second half, a little cloud cover helped us out a bit. Um, but yeah, I thought it was I thought it was fairly even. Again, I think. As the game progressed, I thought, you know, our lines front to back got a little bit stretched out and there's a little bit too much space in between our lines and, and they were able to roll balls between us. So the game got more vertical than than we kind of wanted it to be in the grand scheme of things, uh, which also means a lot of energy expense over the course of the game. But to come here on a day like this uh, at altitude, coming off an international break, uh, you know, and coming back from one down, missing a couple chances, it's a... It's a, it's a it's for sure a worthwhile point for us today. Uh, what what do you think of Chicharito? Obviously, you you gave him the start, and sort of what went into the thoughts of starting him versus bringing him off the bench? Yeah, he. Uh, no, I thought his his movement was good. I thought he linked up things. Obviously, he's a clever player, a smart player, so he he reads things. I thought he's he looked good. I thought he was. Uh, he gave us some experience that we needed on a day like today sometimes and just holding up the ball and bringing some people in and and I thought his work was good. Uh, you know, we we've <clears throat> prolonged his recovery for a little while so physically he was he was fine. Uh, we had played 11 v 11 this past week uh, last weekend so and he had played 45 and we knew that he was pretty comfortable for 45. Um, and we, we wanted to split the game I mean it was kind of a an initial thought that. Uh, we would bring in three guys uh, early into the second half or in the mid second half, just because the challenging uh, challenge of the of the conditions and the heat and the altitude and everything else. We wanted to keep kind of a fresh group on there, um, which is really the main reason. But he he felt okay physically, and he he felt okay even from a fitness standpoint. It wasn't always the fastest pace game from end to end, so he you know he wasn't. Uh, he wasn't having to, to sprint all over the place and we weren't high pressing all over. We were a little bit high, but we weren't high pressing necessarily. Um, so he, he was good and he feels he feels good now. And we know this is a busy week, so we didn't want to use up everything uh, in one game because we know we're coming home midweek. And that gives us, you know, the more we save from him today, the more we get out of him probably on Wednesday since he, you know, it's been a little while since he played. So um, but it was great to see him back out there again. It's him. It's he's an important piece of this group. And finally, for me, um, you know, so much sort of emphasis was put on the defense and your quote unquote two weeks off or three weeks during that three week stretch. How did you feel the defense worked for you today? How do you feel maybe it didn't work for you today? Um, I thought we <clears throat> I thought we survived, uh, uh, you know, a challenging day. And um, again, there's there's still things for me that we need to be sharper at our movement getting a vertically to squeeze the space our movement laterally the goal comes from us not not getting around and supporting the the strong side center back with the weak side uh center back and we we went to five to to try to close off some spaces make the game less vertical be a little bit tighter and on the goal we're all spread apart and it, it doesn't it, that stuff doesn't make sense to me it's something again that we just have to be sharper again as guys get fatigued maybe we get a little bit we don't close those gaps as fast as we need to, <clears throat> um, but there was a few moments like that. I mean, I thought, uh, you know, the good news is, is there weren't a ton of great chances, and uh, and we, in the end, I hate saying it, but we we gave up one goal the last couple of games. We gave up three, so um, <clears throat> so that's for sure. We covered territory a little bit better uh, on a tough day, um, but I still think we've got to get a lot sharper to get to where we we need to be uh, in order to to get zeros uh, and to be a little bit more comfortable in, in terms of over the course of 90 minutes. Thanks, Greg. Mm -hmm. Something just happened. Oh, All right. Uh, next, we'll go to uh, Jonathan Siegel. Hey, Greg. Um, what have you seen against uh, teams of this caliber, at least in the standings from your team this year? How have you seen the Galaxy match up against clubs that at least in theory, you guys are fighting for those top playoff spots with as well. How do you assess that kind of 
level of performance. Yeah, again, I mean, similar to what I was describing, uh, being more specific, but just in the grand scheme of things, we, as a group that's coming together, 17 new players, first time, you know, we are playing teams that have been together for a while, who have experienced a lot of things, who are more mature as groups than our group. And uh, so, you know, I think these teams are a little bit tighter and the attention to detail and a little bit more in sync in terms of some of the things we've that, uh, that they've done, which is, you know, some of the things I was talking about in terms of the our line moving laterally and vertically and those there's many, many, many details in the game that I think, um, you know, we have to get sharper to be able to compete with the, the top teams right now and we've done a good job like this game of, of getting a result out of it and a, again a difficult place to play but. To win these games, you know, in a playoff environment or something, we've, the details for us have to tighten up for sure. And and we've got to get, you know, more in sync as a group. Uh, hopefully we can get some consistency in our group down the stretch and uh, and start to build on uh, the repetitions that we'll have now that everybody's in. And, you know, we're still going to have another international break coming up, but um, at least hopefully during this stretch, we can we can get some repetition together and tighten up a few things. Uh, next, we'll go to Larry Morgan. Hi, Greg. Thanks for taking our, our, our questions. Hi um, you know, the Galaxy hasn't had much of a track record of success playing at that park for the last few years. And knowing that, uh, would, would this be the classic example of what a coaches might call a good point? Yeah, I think so. Again, I mean, it's <clears throat> coming off an international break where you're never quite sure what you're going to get because guys are coming from different places and you know, with a team like the Galaxy, we have a lot of guys away and they're relatively new as a group. And then you get guys back physically. We're at different positions. We have Javier playing his first game, Jorge playing his first game uh, for a while. Uh, Dan kind of getting his first real 90 minutes for a little while. So uh, <clears throat> in a very difficult environment between the, the, the temperature and the time of day relative to the also the humidity. So. Look, there are a lot of variables in this, uh, and as you said, the, you know, a lot of teams don't come up here and, and get uh, many results or many points. This is a difficult place to play, one of the toughest in the league, and and so uh, for sure, I think it's a good point. It's one of the things we talked about in this game that we leave here with one, no matter what. But if we can get three, we get three, and and the guys, you know, they competed till the end and they got one out of it, and um, you know, it's a good point. It's also a good point in the standings. It puts us four away from the team behind us and it puts us, it keeps us still in touch with, uh, with Colorado in the standings, you know, so, you know, today wasn't the day we made up ground, but we certainly didn't lose any. And we, we kept a, a good gap, uh, with Portland, at least for the time being where they're four points behind us. So those are, those are all positive things on the day. Can you also talk about this, the uh, sequence that led to the tying goal? Good recognition on the long ball too. Yeah, it was it was uh, for sure it was good awareness and I thought you know there were times throughout the game where those opportunities were on and we shorted it you know we hit the ball short and, and their center backs were able to. To not have to chase behind them but were able to stop and head the ball back down in midfield and it came back at us, but I thought you know at times our recognition of the depth and our attempt to try to run in behind from time to time was was a little bit better today, especially against a five than it has been in the past we. Um, you know, we just we've got to put the balls out in front of them a little bit and and let guys run onto it as Sam did, you know, a couple of them we tried to look and we just we smashed them over them. Maybe that's a, a little bit of uh, we hit them too hard, you know, just maybe that's a little bit of altitude or a little bit of excitement. But um, but I thought that moment was an important moment because that was one of the ways you can get through on a team like this is, you know, one forward checks, one takes off and and you can drop a ball behind and Sam did a great job of getting good wood on that shot and and putting it in a tough place to for the keeper to keep it out of the goal so um you know credit to sam also on on just the way he took it he took that ball in stride and on the run too he didn't slow down much which you know led his momentum into the finish so it was good by sam thanks for your time thanks for your time greg all right thanks everyone